kids and you never see them again. That's why I said getting them saved and getting them to, to, to produce is two different things. And like I said, the devil is an opportunist. Once you start producing fruit, Jesus said your fruit should remain. Whether you're in season or out of season. Try to get your fruit to remain out of season. I'm preaching to you. Come on now. And that your fruit should remain even out of season. Think on that one for a while. How can I produce when it's not even this season? Listen, in ourselves, we could never do it. But there is a river. Hallelujah. <laughs> I said there is a river. My Lord and my God. Do you feel what I feel in here this morning? Do you feel what I feel in here this morning? Everything that touches it, it gives life. Oh, my Lord. Everything that it touches, it gives life. Don't you know you're as a tree planted, planted, hallelujah, by the, with, by the rivers of life. Oh, hallelujah. And its leaf, it shall not wither, the Bible says, whether it's in season or out of season, as long as your root is tapped in. I said it's tapped in to that river of life. It doesn't matter if you're out of season. Your leaf shall not wither and your fruit shall remain I wish somebody would shout, oh, hallelujah, it shall remain. Let the devil come. Let him blow. Let him do what he will. That Jesus told me the gates of hell will not prevail against the child of God. Ain't going to prevail against me. Ain't going to prevail against you. Hallelujah. Somebody be obedient to the Lord. During your out of season, you can mark it down. You can mark it down during your out of season. Like we read in Revelation, that wind is going to blow and try to shake off that which God has produced in you. As a, a fig casteth, it's untimely figs shaken by a great wind and you're out of season. Beware because Satan is going to huff. He's going to puff. He's going to blow. And he's going to try to shake off what God has produced in you. He is shaking down the church world. He is shaking the church world down. But it stops here. You need to serve notice on him. Satan, what God has produced in me, the fruit that God has made my tree yield, hallelujah. <laughs> it doesn't matter if a strong wind comes. It doesn't matter if a freeze comes. Hear what I'm saying. I'm preaching. It doesn't matter if a freeze comes. It doesn't matter. Oh, hallelujah. Because Jesus said, I have ordained. I have ordained that your fruit, that your fruit should remain. Hallelujah. That ought to make you shout. That ought to make you dance. That ought to make you glad and joyous in spirit that Jesus has ordained. Oh, let me say it again. He ordained you. He ordained you. He ordained you. He ordained you up there in the back uh, that your fruit should remain. Producing fruit out of season in the normal is impossible. <laughs> but with God, all things <laughs> shall be possible. God deals in impossible situations. You don't think so? Give it to him this morning. I said give it to him this morning. He can't do anything until you give it to him.
na Shania, na Katia, na Rita, na Shakaya, Dia, Huni Shamia, Ita Matashaya, Ritia Matashaya, Ila Shaya, Oki, Idama, O, E, Ri, Na, Shamaho, Nikaya. For I, the Lord thy God, would speak unto my people this very hour. For my love has been spread throughout the world and all the churches and outside the churches. For my love is going to cover the world and my peace and my joy. But to serve me, you must come unto me. You must serve me. You must call up on my name. For my name is above all other names. And it is getting more wicked and wicked as the day goes by. Things will get no better. They're not going to get any better. They're going to grow more wicked. It's going to grow more darkness up over the world. We do not send my fire through this church this day and this hour. For I am the Lord thy God that would speak unto you. I would that you would praise me and glorify me and love one another. For that will get you into the kingdom of heaven. Love and praise me, he said. And glorify me. Hallelujah. Stand with me this morning. Thank you, Jesus. You know something, these folks that have these fruit trees, there's a something that they use. Now I want you to listen to this. I got to reading and, and studying up on this. And some of these fruit trees, now listen to this. When they're predicting a freeze, <laughs> now listen, freeze, if it's bad enough to affect the fruit, it's bad enough to affect the tree. But there's things that they have developed and learned to do over the years to combat the cold and to combat the freezes. And I was reading and studying up on this and how the Lord just ties things in together. They said when they're predicting a freeze that could damage the fruit and ruin their crop, they said one of the things that they do to guard against the cold and guard against the freeze, now listen to this, so that the fruit that they've labored for and the, and the fruit that has been produced, in order for them to have their harvest when it's ripe, to protect against the freeze, they'll take lights. They take light and wrap it around that fruit around that tree. I said light. Jesus said, I am the light of this world. And when they do that, guess what? It protects that fruit. Hallelujah. Why? Because of the warmth that it gives off. My Lord, I feel them. It protects that fruit. Hallelujah. It protects that tree. The light. Hallelujah. The warmth from the light. It protects it against the cold in order so that when the time comes, they can have a harvest. I said so that they can have a harvest. I said you ain't hearing me this morning. So that they can have a harvest. If you love them, raise your hands and praise the King. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is the light of the world. He lights every man that cometh into this world. Hallelujah. My Lord and my God, what a presence in this church this morning. What a presence of God in this church this morning. Hallelujah. God wants to touch somebody this morning. Broken heart. I said, God wants to touch somebody this morning. Give it all, give it all. 
If you stand in need of a touch this morning, and I mean a real, genuine touch, into joy. I want you to get out in this aisle right here. Give it all. Not the sides. Give the it aisle all. right here. Give it all to Jesus. Hallelujah. Heavy hearts, your burden. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give it all. Thank you, Jesus. Give it all. Thank you, my Lord. Give it all to Jesus. Hallelujah. Do you feel God's presence He'll this turn morning? turn your sorrow into Hallelujah. joy. Hallelujah. Step forward, Brother Dwayne. Well, through it all, through it all, I've learned to trust in Jesus. I've learned to trust in God. Oh, through it all, through it all, I've learned to depend upon His Word. Seen a lot of doubt and sorrow, questions for tomorrow. I've had times I didn't know right from wrong. But in every situation, God gave blessed consolation. My trials only come to make me strong. Oh, through it all, through it all, well, I've learned to trust in Jesus, I've learned to trust in God, through it all, through it all, I've learned to depend upon His Word. Thank Him for the mountain. Thank Him for the heartache. Thank Him for the valleys He brought me through. If I never had a problem, I wouldn't know that He could solve them. I'd never know what faith in God would do. Go oh, through it all, through it all. I've learned to trust in Jesus. I've learned to trust in God. Through it all, through it all. I've learned to depend upon His word. in Jesus I've learned to trust in God through it all through 
through it all. I've learned to depend upon this world. trust in Jesus I've learned to trust in God through it all through it all I've learned to depend upon his word through it all through it all I've learned to trust in Jesus, learn to trust in God, through it all, through it all, I've learned to depend upon His Word. quite how God is going to move. I don't care how he does it, just as long as he does it. Just as long as the job gets done. Now with every head bowed and every eye closed, saints praying. If you're here this morning and you do not know God and your fruit is withered and you know you're not where you're supposed to be, I'm going to ask you to get out of that seat and come down to this altar and let's pray. And let's get everything straightened out. Come on, let's pray. Let's get things right with God. What's it going to be as we tarry for a minute? What's it going to be? Let this be the day. Let this be the day. Anybody anywhere want to come pray? The altar's open. Just as I am. We'll sing this song and praise the Lord. And, one plea, and then we'll close. But that thy blood was shed for me. If you know it, sing it. That thou bidst me come to thee, O Lamb of God, I come. I come. Hallelujah. Sing it one more time. Just as I am without one plea, but that thy blood was shed for me, and that thou bidst me come to thee, O Lamb of God. I don't you appreciate God in his presence amen give the Lord the biggest hand of praise that you can give him this morning 
Father, we thank you that you have met us once again. Thank you, Lord. It's been a privilege to be in your presence. Lord, help us to walk in your presence and in your spirit, Lord, the remainder of this day. And we pray, Lord, when we meet back here again tonight, Lord, that you'll do it all over again. Lord, bless those that would put forth the effort to come. Lord, and we're believing you for another great and a mighty move of your power and of your spirit tonight. We forever give you the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Don't forget your services tonight at 6 o'clock. Go home, take a few minutes out, pray for the service, shake hands one with another, and we'll see you back here tonight. That's right. I'm not going to forget. <laughs>